What is good guys? Today is actually, unfortunately, very sad to say, my last day here in the United States. Uh, early tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I fly out of Florida and head back to Japan for my 18 hour flight. Um, but there's a really cool car here that I want to check out and my new friend Thomas, this guy, he brought to me my dream Civic, an EG with a K. Is it boosted? No, not yet. Not yet, but that's okay. All motor Ks are okay. No pun intended. Um, let's pop the hood and check it out. So is this a real carbon hood? It is. Oh yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler. I don't even care if it's like not even like super clean, man. This is amazing. I'm so turned on right now. Sorry if that freaks you out oh, a little. Let's see. This is epic. I'm gonna get a light real quick so we can light this up and then uh, we'll get uh, Thomas to go over it all for us. All right, so we got uh, Chris's uh, hood light here. And damn, this thing is nice, man. So, where did this motor come from? Uh, it came out of an 05, 06 Type S. Mm -hmm. um, K20, obviously, right? K20 Z1. Z1. Uh, matching trans. Yep. Six speed or five speed? Six. Six? Yes, sir. Uh, Hell yeah. I'll give you a little rundown on the goodies it has in it. It's got a Super Tech complete head. Yep. Stock cams. Yep. Uh, stock bottom end. Has a baffled oil pan. Yep. Uh, three inch exhaust. Yep. Has a 1320 header. Yep. It has a 76 mil throttle body that's port matched to an RBC. Yep. Has aeromotive fuel pressure reg. Mm -hmm. 2200 cc injectors. 2200. Yes. So you're getting ready for boost then? Yes. yes. Uh, uh, it's on E85. Yep. Uh, it's got a Walbro 450 pushing it. Yep. High sport solid mounts. Yeah, I saw the high sport. Um, hybrid racing shift cables. Yep. Uh, hybrid racing shift box. Yep. So, I mean, and then everything goes to the K-tuned billet shifter in there. Yes, sir. It is running. It is running K-Pro. Oh, we don't have a light. Yeah, there we go. They're yeah. running K-Pro. Hell yeah, that looks so good. So K-Pro is that a K-tuned? Yes, K. Yeah. A K-tuned tuning software, right? Which yeah. is is that a uh, Honda or? Honda yeah. Tuning program. Okay, I'm still learning a whole bunch of Honda stuff, so this is really good. Uh, car made 237 wheel. 237 all motor. Yes, sir. Um, best ET and mile an hour went 1203 at 113. Nice, man. So, uh, what kind of turbo size are you going to put on this? Um, I got one at the house. It's a it's Precision 6266. What? So. Isn't that a big one? Yeah, it should be good for, yeah. you know, low five. 500? Nice. See, I don't know my pre precision turbos. We don't really play with those in Australia or in Japan. Mm -hmm. Everyone's either like, you know, Garrett, HKS, Grady, that type of stuff. So, Should precision be... sizes, I have no idea what that is. It's a 62 uh, mil front, 66 back housing. Millimeter or? Millimeter, yeah. Oh, okay, so that, that's pretty decent. That's like a 3071R kind of thing. Something like that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, I think it's good for, what, 700 horse? Yeah. 700 horse, I think that's what they're rated for. Um, obviously, on a stock motor, I ain't gonna make that much. Yeah. Oh, so stock internals? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, stock stock block on these. They they handle 500 pretty comfortably, don't they? Yeah, between five and 550. Yeah. That's so good, man. This is exactly what I want. Like, cause like I've got an EK in Australia, but that's just me kind of mucking around with Hondas and, and like, I do want to build it into like a fun grippy car. But if, when I do want to build a nice Civic, it's definitely going to be this. EG, this, K. This car has got a lot of, um, been doing a lot of suspension stuff to it lately. Yeah. What's uh, coilovers are you gonna throw in this? It's got, it's got TN coilovers already on it. Okay, cool. Uh, it has hard race front and rear lower control arms. Oh, hard race, sweet. Mm -hmm. Hard race. Um, oh man. Uh, compliance bushings. Yep. Uh, new ball joints. All yep. that stuff. That yep. It's got so it makes a, it handle really, really nice. Yeah. It's got a DC2 steering rack. Nice. Um, so in DC2 is Integra, right? It's DC2 Integra. Okay. Yeah. yeah, like I said, I'm learning all of this. So, so. that steering rack, it's a little different than the EG. It's a little little quicker ratio. Little quicker ratio. Okay, yeah. cool. That's a good thing to keep in mind then. And, awesome. Um, I have the uh, EX Civic Integra front brakes and stuff on it. Oh, cool. So it's all discs front and rear. Yeah, it's got uh, uh, all wheel disc brakes. Yes. Hell yeah. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you so much for showing this to me. No it's definitely uh, hyping me up for some uh, fun Honda oh, it's, toys in the future, that's for sure. worth it, man. Hell yeah. I'm practicing some wheelchair wheelies right now. Just gotta do this, right? Whoa, whoa. I'm scared to learn how to do this before I go. This is pretty weird. I'm scared that I'm gonna fall over and smack my head. This is insane, man. Whoa, I did it. I'm stuck on Oh. Come on, man. You're not doing too right? You're right, mate. You're right, mate. 
No! Um, she'll be right, man. She'll be right, man. This is Chris right now wishing he never ever got a BMW for a drift car. He's manhandling that. I don't want to break your hand. Oh, damn. All right, about to get my trucking on right now. Where's the button on this thing? There we go. Gonna drive this little thing. Well, I mean, it's actually a big thing, but you know what I'm saying. Ugh. Feels nice to be uh, driving a truck here in America. That's my last day today. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, all right, what do I do? Just go down into uh, drive? Is there a handbrake on this? Do I have to release anything? I think we're good. All right, wait, where's the... Where do I turn lights on here? Is, is that lights? No, that's wipers. Uh, lights. We good? We trucking? We trucking? Oh, this thing's big. Chris, with great power comes great responsibility. Have fun with this bad boy. All right. Come on. Hey, Come on, it's Mr. The Lighter. Lighter's fault, man. Really? Hey. Oh my God, it's still big, mate. Oh, that's all right. You're good. Dude, did you want to hold on to that long enough? That was cool! Yeah, that was actually pretty cool. That was cool, it was completely underwater. <laughs> All right, my turn, my turn. This dude can't even light a firework. Oh my god, okay, okay. I'm surprised I hit the water. It's probably not gonna work. Oh, <laughs> you got scared. Pretty well. Feels like it's like bait. Yeah, you feel it like Sick. underground. All right, All right, so a little bit sad right now, just looking at everything here in the shop, and uh, I'm sad too. You know why? Why? It's 11:30 right now. I've been waiting 45 minutes for you. You haven't been waiting 45 minutes for me. Get out of here. Half an hour. Okay, okay, maybe <laughs> half an hour. But um, I'm a little bit sad because it's the last time I'm going to be in the shop for a while. We're definitely going to come out here sooner rather than later. Um, and hopefully next time this thing's running. Hopefully this thing's running. And that thing. Yeah. So if you guys um, definitely check out Chris's video um, because uh, he's working on getting that up and running. Uh, hopefully he gets the parts for that tomorrow and can start hopefully. shredding at the compound this You'll week. You'll be on the airplane, I'll be shredding. Hopefully. Yeah, Dude, hopefully. you better be. I better have text messages of pictures and videos. <laughs> Um, but yeah, out of every car that you have here, I think the number one car that I enjoyed the most was the Civic. Was the Civic. That's so funny. And the reason? Because it's just, it's thrown together, it's ratty, it's dodgy, it's janky, but it's just so much fun. Yeah. Because you don't care about it, right? Yeah. And it's you just fast. Beat the balls out of it. Yeah. And that's what I think what's brilliant about Civics. You can buy one for 500 bucks. Like I got mine in Australia for 400 yeah. bucks. A bit more than 500. You got ripped, man. Yeah. <laughs> But no, seriously, like, the Civic's been the best car, and my trip to America has definitely been fun. So thank you very much, bro. No problem, man. Really appreciate your hospitality. And now you're technically a southerner, hey? Yeah, next time um, you come, try to get on my sleep schedule, because I don't want to wake up at 8 in the morning. It's just not cool. <laughs> what time do you normally wake up? I mean, 11.30 is cool. We can get a lot 11.30 a.m.? 11.30 As long as we're leaving the house at 11.30. Yeah, my shift is 11.30 to 2 in the, middle, to two in the morning. Okay, that sounds good. So, we we'll have do that a lot next of time. time to play. We do. All right, yeah, okay, we'll do that next time. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. This trip out to America has definitely been amazing. I definitely want to get out of here sooner rather than later, as I said. And I've already been talking to Chris about the next trip, so keep an eye out for hints and things like that about that. But y'all are crazy and definitely next time I'm out here, we're gonna do a car meet of some kind, something spontaneous in a car park somewhere. We'll figure it out. Chris is the expert at that apparently. I'm the expert at what? Spontaneous car meets at random car parks. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that next time for sure. Oh, for sure. But anyways, guys, we're gonna probably go ahead now, get some dinner and uh, we now need to edit the cycle of a YouTuber and we'll pick it up from there. Uh, just driving away and just looking back at the Civic and thinking, man, I'm gonna miss her. Anyways, heading back to Chris's now. The last time, eh, mate? The last time. It's about 3.05 a.m. talk about that. We're heading into Walmart. Chris is very happy to be up this early. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> so we're heading into Walmart, last Walmart run. Got to get all the stuff for people back home, snacks and things. And I also want to get some socks because it's very difficult to get socks Dude, in Japan for my me. size. Look at this. I'm oh, not yeah. Even wearing socks. You're not even never, wearing socks. I never do this for everyone <laughs> Never do it. Uh, at least you're not barefoot here in Walmart. Anyways, let's go get some stuff. All right, so I'm all stocked up now on candy and beef jerky and things for friends back home in Japan. All the workers thought he had the munchies. Yeah, everyone thought we had the munchies. But uh, 
We're gonna head to the airport now. Are you sad, Chris? Hang on, hang on. I, I gotta get in here. You're a little sad? What are you gonna do, man? Um, not go out to eat every day? <laughs> we can save a little bit of money, eh? Probably. But I am stoked on this Fanta Strawberry, eh? Hey, Fanta and Strawberry. Have you ever tried this? I never have. Oh, dude, you're in for a surprise, my friend. Check All right. it out. We're gonna have one right now, okay? Gee, slow down, champ. Not gonna lie, a Sprite would have felt better. <laughs> Instant regret. <laughs> So we're just pulling into the airport now, just got to FLL, and uh, I'm gonna miss you, mate. I miss you too, mate. It was fun. It was fun. Honestly, it went better than I planned. Really? Yeah, because I didn't have any plan. Well, I'm gonna unload, and then let's go. Awesome. And just like that, I'm back here in Japan in my studio. Um, and actually while I say that I go live every second day on Semit live YouTube channel link is in the description check it out um, But yeah, I am really not looking forward to the next few days because it's gonna be a struggle getting used to the time zone here in Japan with jet lag and everything um, Normally when I would be awake in the States during my trip would be nighttime here So like you know I had a few days to get used to it when I was in the States and it's gonna take me probably two to three days to get used to it again here uh, once we reset everything, I'll be back to normal. But that's not going to stop me from hitting the ground running. I've got some awesome plans for future videos coming up. And now that I'm back in Japan, I'm really pumped. Hope some of you guys are as well. Uh, and let's leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section what was your favorite part of the America trip and what do you want to see me do in the next America trip because it's coming sooner rather than later. Anyways, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace out. Jamatane.